Hi, this is Peter from the DJ Podcast. In this video, we'll be looking at the samplers in Mixvibe's Cross DJ 2. Cross DJ 2 has two samplers with eight sample slots each, giving you up to 16 sample slots to work with across the two sample decks. Let's start by first taking a look at an overview of the sampler controls. First, we have the ability to save a sample bank. So if you've created a drum kit or a bunch of one shots that you like to use all the time, you can save those as a sample bank that you can recall at any time. Next that we have a drop down menu that allows us to select previously saved sample banks. To the right of the sample bank selection, we have the beat clock and its transport controls. The beat clock shows you where you are visually in time with the beats. Next we have the BPM controls. And finally we have the player link button. When you select player link, you can sync the sampler to the deck above it. So if you're using sampler C, you can sync it to deck A, and if you're using sampler D, you can sync it to deck B. Now to load a sample, it's really easy. All you have to do is come into the browser and drag and drop a sample onto one of the sample slots. You can do that with as many samples as you want, as long as you have open sample slots to fit them in. Now let's take a look at the individual sample controls. First, to play a sample, you can simply click on it, and to stop, click on it again. Underneath that, we have this speaker icon here. If you click it, you will mute the sample. Then, if you hover over it, you can also adjust this fader to adjust how loud that sample is. Next, we have the different play modes. We have loop, one shot, and hold. Loops will simply loop that sample over and over. One shots are played once at a time by clicking the button. And hold allows you to loop the sample for as long as you're holding the play button. To the right of the play mode, we have the rolling frequency. And this is only available for the loop and hold mode, not one shot. You can change the rolling frequency by clicking on this drop down menu and then selecting the number of beats that you would like to define as the loop length. If, for example, the loop is 8 beats long and you set it to 2, you will only be playing the first 2 beats of that 8 beat loop. If you set it to full, it will play the entirety of the loop. The rolling frequency though doesn't just define the loop length, it can also be used to program when samples are triggered if you're looping them. For example, this sample I have is 1 beat long, so if I set it to 2, it will be played every 2 beats. So that is an overview of the samplers in Mixvibe's Cross DJ2. If you would like to see more videos on Mixvibe's Cross DJ2, write on our Facebook fan page wall at facebook.com slash the DJ podcast, or follow us on Twitter at twitter.com slash the DJ podcast, and tweet us with a message of what you would like to see in a future video. Thanks for watching.